The Earth welcomed home three space travelers today who had departed the planet well before anyone had ever heard of COVID-19. The crew members from the International Space Station include a local guy, Army physician Andrew Morgan, hometown Newcastle. Because Earth has a pandemic and space travel can weaken one's immune system, the return of Morgan and his crewmates aboard a Russian Soyuz capsule brought extra precautions. Their journey took more than three hours. Here now in one minute is how it looked from space and on the ground in Kazakhstan. Soyuz MS-15 and its crew are flying free one step closer on their way back home to Earth. And you can see the separation burn has begun, that eight second burn separating Soyuz from the International Space Station at a rate of 0.53 meters per second. Now flying free with the crew of Jessica Mir, Andrew Morgan, and Oleg Skripochka on board. As the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-15 itself are flying over the North Pacific Ocean at 263 statute miles. The vehicle landed on its side, as reported by Russian Search and Recovery Forces, not an unprecedented uh, landing. And the MI-8 helicopters have now landed around the capsule and are working to retrieve and extract the crew. You can see the teams wearing masks. Uh, this, is, this is a precautionary measure. It's part of the pre-planned measures implemented by the Russian Search and Recovery Forces in order to protect all involved in the recovery of the crew and the crew themselves. And we have the extraction of Andrew Morgan reclining in his chair, regaining that equilibrium, those land legs after 272 days in space. The recovery team at the landing site had been under close medical supervision for a month and had been tested for the coronavirus. The astronauts now face strict quarantine living at NASA for the time being. Welcome home, Colonel Morgan and crewmates.